Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Calderon. It's another edition of Coach's Corner on UAlbanySports.com. We are being joined by the director of track and field, both the men's and women's teams at UAlbany, Roberto Vives. Roberto, how are you? Joe, thank you this for having me. It's a pleasure to have you for the first Definitely. time this season. And, Tremendous. you know, a great time to do this because you're just coming off your lone outdoor home meet, the 33rd Annual Spring Classic. Besides, I'm sure, some nice weather and being home for the first time outdoor this year, what were some of the highlights? What did you like that you saw this weekend? Uh, I thought last weekend was really good. First of all, we had our senior day, so we had an opportunity to honor our seniors. We had 20 seniors leaving the program, so it was, it was great to have their families and their friends here and that kind of thing, and we recognized each and every one of them. In terms of uh, the meet, uh, our team is right where, where we expect it to be at this point. We had a school record, a 44-year-old school record was broken in the shop put by Eric Devoscovo, which was uh, tremendous. It was the oldest record in the books. So, you know, uh, so uh, again, uh, it was uh, a great weekend. Uh, in the triple jump, we, we had Jordan uh, Crumb King, one of our seniors. He, uh, he had a big personal best, 51 feet, 7 inches. He's a local. He's from Shaker. Shaker High School. Love to so see the local was, guys. In yes, yeah, yeah. and you know, and, and he's a senior as well, so it was good to see him. Both both of these uh, gentlemen were seniors, so it, it was good to see them do do well. Uh, but straight across the board, our runners, our jumpers, our hurdlers, our sprinters, our throwers, all did well last weekend. Now you you parlay that into so it's a quick turnaround. You had a nice weekend. Uh, but you don't get much time to relax. Now you got the, the Penn Relays, RPI, and I, and I read in the, in the recap on, on UAlbanySports.com. Mm -hmm. You should check it out. Uh, not, a, not a big group going, but it's not about the quantity, it's the quality that you're sending to RPI this week. Yes. Uh, well, well, that's you know, uh, the Penn Relays. Sure. We're sending a real small quality group yep. there. Again, uh, we're, we're really point looking forward to sure. the championship season. And that begins with the American East Conference, going into the ECA, CIC, FOIA, then the NCA Regionals, then the NCA Championship. So in preparation for that and knowing that this is a time of year where our students get stressed because it's the end of the semester, work to be done, et cetera, we decided to just take a small group to the Penn Relays and have the other athletes uh, who need a competition compete at RPI. How, t and I know you love what you do, but there is a level of stress that comes with it. How taxing is that? going from the, the classic at home to the Penn Relays, then right after that, the next week, it's the conference championships, or you've been doing this for a while, so you're used to it. It's more about the athletes. <laughs> I'm getting older, Joe, so oh, I, don't on, know, I, I don't know if I can say that I'm <laughs> used to it, but uh, it just has been nonstop. You know, we've gone from Puerto Rico uh, to the Florida Relays to California to our home meet, which, you know, entails a lot of work. Even though we're at home, you know, there's a lot of preparation goes into it and that sort of thing. Todd Wallen, as our meet director, does a great job, you know, with, with that. But, uh, and then now it's championship time, so we're just going straight through. Penn Relays, we leave tomorrow. <laughs> and then we'll go to New Hampshire the following week, and then to Princeton, and, and, and then at the end of the month to the University of Kentucky. But it's an exciting time, because this is the time when the student athletes really start to pick up in their performances, they start to develop. So all of the year's work, everything that they put into it, now you start seeing those results. Again, we're here with Roberto uh, Vives. He's the director of the track and field program, men's and women's here at UAlbany. And, and you mentioned it about a minute ago, and this is more of a self-serving question for me. Uh, you've been here, and I don't want to date you now, because <laughs> the guy looks like he's, you look like maybe you're a year younger than me. You've been here for Thank 30, you. 31 years. I'm a schmoozer. You'll yeah. learn that. Uh, 31 years, Roberto, you've been here, and I'm sure you've seen many special athletes come through this program. Grace Claxton just finished up her indoor season, and she just finished up her career at U Albany. Everybody, if you if you recognize the name, she competed in the the Rio Games last summer, an Olympian. That's How exciting. special? What's her legacy here at U Albany? That was that, that was so so exciting. Again, after 31 years, and you know, we I've had the opportunity to coach Division Three, II, Division Two, II, Division One. So it's all been exciting, and it's been a journey. Uh, so you know, people ask me, well, how can you do it? How how can you be there that long? But again. There are new goals, there are new kids, sure. and, and you know, we, we kept progressing through the ranks and that sort of thing. Grace Claxton, tremendous, tremendous person first, first and foremost, great, great student and a tremendous athlete. She's just a uh, coach's dream, somebody, somebody that really follows the program to the letter and, and has developed. I mean, it's incredible that within 15 months that she started hurdling, she didn't hurdle before she got here. In high school or, or anywhere else, 
and 15 months she's in the Olympic Games. So it was quite an experience to be in Rio with her and prepare her for the Games. And to become a semifinalist and finish 14th in the world was just tremendous. How neat is it to see somebody with that kind of prowess, but yet so grounded? Uh, oh, you know, it, it's unbelievable because, you know, she, she has overcome a lot. Uh, uh, again, you know, not come from, she doesn't come from a well-to-do family, that kind of thing, but very grounded, very humble. Uh, and she, 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 and she kids back. She's been captain of the team for the past two years, and now she's serving as a volunteer assistant coach. So a person that's that again, a coach's dream. Roberto Vives, director of track and field here Thank at you UAlbany. Very much. Thank you so much, Roberto. Thank and you, as we Joe. always do, we remind you: follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. I'm Joe Calderon. Thanks for watching Coach's Corner on AlbanySports.com. We'll see you next time.